So I just, uh, I wanted to show, this is an unfinished piece. Uh, this is a, a panel that I formed and made uh, to mimic stone. Um, it's still got quite a bit of work and layering. I wanted to show that underneath, um, I take a plywood and old flooring. Um, I, there's a recycling center nearby that collects this stuff and I make, make the inside so it can be hollowed, which is lighter weight and this and that. And then this thickness I can carve into an inlay more of the stone like material um right now i'm getting ready to backfill all these little air bubble holes and things um, i like to play with different colors um but anyways i just kind of wanted to show some beginning canvas pieces um how they come out you can see i do array of colors um, this one, I, I carp some cracking in as I go in, I will make it more defined. Um, here's a, a small piece. It, it broke. I, I tried something new and it created some weak areas, so that's life. This is one that's been backfilled and needs sanded down and then, um, this one over here, you can see this is the I'm getting ready to make my my backfill. This one here uh, is another canvas, and so in some ways they almost look like a finished piece of art, but they're not. Um, uh, they literally it's a uh, it's a canvas, uh, a beginning. This though, however, this is a piece that's drying. Um, but I, I like this one. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it how it is. Um, as I formed it, I, I tried to put a design in, an image in my head that to form it, and it, it came out the way I wanted. And I think it's really beautiful. Um, I, I will be framing each piece separately because um, these pieces are are, are solid uh, scaleolia and um, let's see if I can get some of the the sheen. It's hard to see on the the camera, but they can get really mirrored. There, there it is. There you can start to see how smooth and shiny they are. Um, but yeah, I haven't thought of a title of this one, but, <laughs> excuse me, I, I feel, um, this is a lot like uh, my backpacking area after a snow. Um, you have your mountains and sky and bushes and formations and and then you have meadows and creeks with different breaks of grass and stuff showing through. So um, to me, this is a, a wintery landscape of some kind. I really feel it is the in the midst of a snowfall. Um, so yeah, I might call it uh, something like it's time to go home. Because a lot of times when I go in this area, it's snowing when I'm ready to leave and been up there a while so all right thank you so yeah i just i i thought it would be neat to show some pieces before they're done and uh if you have any feedback uh, this one i'm imagining um kind of a abstract uh forest floor uh, with some inlaid wood and white marble inlay and uh, this one, I'm thinking of a hill, kind of abstract again, inlaid wood. Um, a person sitting back on a hillside looking at a, a city. 
Um, and and this one I I just see a, a cityscape in it, and I I'm thinking about doing all inlaid wood. I can't say that I won't change my mind. Um, one thing that's different about Scaliolia is that it uh, is a very long process of working with the material. Um, things have to be done and then it has to be allowed to sit. And then it, uh, my shop's messy right now, but that's how you know that I'm, I'm working on things is because things get all laid out and quickly in between projects it gets uh, cleaned up again but I, I really I really enjoy this working space but yeah it just takes so long that you you change your mind a lot of what you want to do um, you know each piece has to be carved and and inlaid so the image changes as you you work with it If uh, you have any questions, um, my website is Amanda Paints LLC dot Weebly dot com.